You're welcome everybody back to the channel. Welcome back to three real motion outdoors. Now today I got something on my mind that I was like, man, I got these baits in my head that I want to make. Like I want to replicate a bluegill as best as possible because I know when I go out and go fishing, the reason you guys haven't been seeing a lot of fishing content because I haven't been catching any fish. Now if you want to see videos of me going out to the lake and casting my line and retrieving it got that for days I got that in great abundance okay <laughs> but what I was thinking about was making a bluegill bait and I wanted to use my ripper to make my three inch ripper and my 3.5 inch ripper paddle tails to see if I can duplicate bluegill so that's what's on my mind that's what the plan is gonna be today stick with me stay tuned let's see if we can get this done and we'll see how it turns out at the end I'll see you at the table. All right, we're here at the table. And for what I want to do today, I don't want to do a whole lot of color building. I don't want to do too much as far as building on color. So I do have these three jars. I mean, three. I do have these three measuring cups already set up for me to use and get this together. This one has a green in it that I used in the last video. And it's a great green. Um, for the top half of a crappie. You know, it's a very nice green. I could always darken it up a little bit if I want to. We're gonna use this for the small blackish color we're gonna use for the dot next on this bluegill plate. And then we're gonna do a belly color, which I'm gonna try to get like an orangey yellow color out of, you know, kind of a red breasted color. And we're gonna see if we can run a couple of these and some paddle tails, see what we can do. So I'm gonna get these heated up and get these up to temperature. We'll do a little bit of color mixing for these so you can see it, and then we'll get the pumping. All right, we'll do this one real quick while the microwave gets the other one ready. <clears throat> this one we want it to be an orangey colored belly of some sort, and I'm going to start with like a little white to try to, you know, make the belly not so see-through. After we add this little bit of white, just to kind of get a base, some sort of form and shape. So that's what I'm working. I want the white so I can make the belly pearl-like. You know, that's really what you need. You need the belly to to look a certain kind of way, and that's hard to tell with the camera. But you see, with my spoon and my knife is disappearing into the white. So it's a very light white color right now. Still almost kind of see-through. And with that, I'm going to use this amber that I got here from Plastic Color, MF Coloring. It's an MF Coloring in amber. This amber is really light, so I'm just going to kind of hit it with the amber. Let's see if I can get this one to color over the way I'm thinking it should. Which is, yeah, I don't want it to be too saturated. Not too saturated. Let me see, maybe a dab of this. Dab it is a little red. That's a very thick red. So just one dab of red. See how much that darkens it over. Yeah, see now it's got that red breasted sunfish look. It's kind of an orangey, pinkish color. So it's very see-through still. But I'm hoping once it's all put together, that it'll kind of equal out. All right, that's looking pretty good. All right, let's get the other one up to color and up to temp. All right, very unsure why this one looks yellowy like that. I was thinking that maybe it was just a cup, but maybe the plaster stall started of burning a little bit. I'm not really sure. You know, it was in there for a short period of time, so maybe it just got too hot. But of course, it doesn't matter right now. Um, this very specific color is going to be black. Like, all black. I just needed to go black. Nice and black. That was so much black, it's going to be the nighttime black. Because black only needs drops. Thick black. No worries about the other color of it, just black. That black is good. Very 
to go. Orange is good, ready to go. Get this green up the temp and we're ready to go. All right, well I guess I can show you this part while we're waiting. So what I wanna do with this black is I wanna drop the dot in there and see if I can be very precise in dropping these dots uh, and see where it gets me. There's going to be a lot involved with this one's going to be very intricate because I'm also going to have to peel all these extra dots off and then I still have to uh, eventually heat all this up and, and so it all melds together properly. You know everything's not exactly in the right space but of course there are no straight lines in nature. You know it's a very common thing to hear. So I won't worry about my lines not being straight or my dots and my circles not being perfect. But as you can see, they're in there. All of them have some sort of dot. And we're gonna use the green and the orange to, to fill. All right, the green is back out. The microwave is just a remelt. I added a couple of squirts of watermelon purple to it to see if I can get a nicer green. And so far it looks almost about the same, but just subtle changes. Slow, subtle changes. That green is pretty decent. Uh, so my next big thing is going to be making sure the temperatures are right for pumping. And we're going to start by getting this belly back up to temp, which shouldn't take too long because it's kind of already there. All right, see you guys in a second. All right, all my colors have made it out. They're pretty stirred and ready to go. Just wanna make sure I don't mess this up. So I'm gonna put my colors in the order I want them in. I want orange on the bottom. As long as I keep in mind that the orange is on the bottom, we're good to go. Um, with this cavity, orange goes up this way because the bellies are on the top side on these for some reason. So I gotta remember that. It looks like it might look like it held up all right. All right. Everything's had time to clean itself off and dry off. We're going to take a quick look at this mixing block. Mixing block. So on that side, so yeah. Something along that line there. Peach colored belly, green colored tops. That might be a good indicator to what we might be getting out here. Let me check the way they blended together pretty well. Looks like they blended pretty well when you when you get down to looking down here. Let me see. When you get to looking down here where they're connecting at, it you know, it looks pretty good. Like they're gonna blend together pretty well. So let's find out. they're almost the same thing one is the 3.5 inch one is the 3 inch so I guess it doesn't really matter which one we open first they're gonna kind of have the same appearance I hope unless the appearance is bad then I don't hope but this is the 3 inch so this is the small one there's gonna be more of these so I kind of want to take a peek uh, just to see what they look like after they've been pushed together like this 
and if they need to be put on the hot plate for a while then I'll get them to the hot plate before I take them apart. Uh, you chose that side. Alright, that didn't go as planned. These did not turn out exactly as I planned. I thought if I pumped it in a certain direction that it would feel a certain kind of way. Um, and it did not. Now mind you, my dot dot is in there pretty good so that part I don't mind so the mixture I was trying to get did not work because I thought it would pump down the sprue both colors and then you know it'll do a top and bottom kind of deal as it went down this one's the closest to what I was trying to get so let's pull one off here All right, this right here was close to what I was trying to get. I wanted a dark green back, a belly with a little dot on the side. Something that you could see, tail full green. You know, like a bait fish kind of looks. You know, a bluegill kind of looks. But this is the tiny version of it, so I didn't think it would be that bad. Of course, it made my dots incredibly big. It's the first time ever trying that. But, you know, other than that, it looks wonderful. This one. I only got one good one out of a batch of five so that's not a good look this green one here is pretty decent I mean these green ones are usable you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take anything away from them the green ones are are usable as they are you know they may fool a fish they may not but I truly only really like the orange bellied one that kind of worked out more of what I was trying to do uh, so Let's see if the bigger ones came out any better. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it at all. Yeah, it doesn't look like it at all. They are about the same. This one with the green slightly, but orange mostly. This one's got a little bit of orange all over it, but green tail mostly. Same with this one. A little bit of orange on the back green tail mostly so though adding the dots wasn't an issue I mean of course but they're not exactly the same I it's the first time ever trying this I keep I'm after keep repeating that's my first time don't don't shoot me but yeah not saying that I can't catch a fish with any one of these but this was not the intended idea I kind of already assumed that I could not um, dual inject these kind of baits but I was really hoping that I could so I'm gonna try one more time see if I can get the colors to mix properly and if not then that's it all right midway update so as you saw we were trying to get this with the paddle tail with the color but I can't get the color to stay and then you know of course I tried to run more except for I didn't add the black dot this time I tried to add more and I realized that no matter how I did it it just keeps doing this no matter what I do this is what it turns out to be and it's a uh, not what I'm asking for not what I'm looking for and of course that's not the whole point of what we're doing here um so yeah it didn't work out the way i wanted it to but here's what did work out here's what did work out for me i ended up taking that same idea and i was like well you know instead of getting baits that look like this where it's just part of the same mold you just get more orange more yellow and orange on this one and then you have this one where it's just green at the front you know they there were some really bad ones and then there were some really good ones but I digress what I found out is I much rather have this bait right here the jerk bait these jerk baits came out awesome these are absolutely fabulous 
So that's what worked out for me. Um, I basically took the same idea and was like, you know what, why not make it in a jerk bait? At least I know that the colors will be exactly where I want them when I run the dual injector. And it actually, as I stand right now, out of the jerk baits I've made, these are my favorite looking jerk baits right now. The colors are absolutely perfect. I can actually imagine them in the water looking exactly like a little yellow breasted, red breasted sunfish in the water. And I think the bass in my local area will tear these things apart. And I really can't wait to go try them truthfully. So that's kind of yeah that's kind of what we got here so i know this is a little different a little unorthodox so i give you a quick you know pan of what we got going on here and what i ended up with gentlemen we have made it to the very end I hope you enjoyed that I didn't expect that to be such a hard thing to do and it turned out to be a little harder than expected I, it's my first time ever trying to drop eyes in and dots in to make bluegill markings and time is practice I'm pretty sure I get really good at that I'm probably gonna try that again too on a different time with a different bait um, but those jerk baits ooh, those jerk baits look so saucy I can't wait so let me know if you like this video. Leave it a come, thumbs up down below. Leave a comment down below. Let me know uh, what you liked about it. Which one of those was your favorite? If um, if we could have got it right, you think those paddle tails would have been right? And what other two colors would you want to see together as far as bluegills go? I've um, been working on my color making, so I would love for that kind of challenge to come up. Um, you know, do what you can to help the channel. Subscribe down below if you're not subscribed, and I do. Truly appreciate the view, and I will see you on the next one. I'm out.